so welcome to my channel guys for today's video we will talk about auxiliary boiler so what is boiler it is a power plant which converts water into steam for crude oil tanker guys auxiliary boiler is for driving cargo oil pump turbine for cargo heating heating of engines and other auxiliary heating purposes so this is can green boiler boiler type water tube it is oil fired boiler capacity is 25,000 kilograms per hour the working pressure is 16 bar the flue gas maximum 450 degrees centigrade the water volume 12.42 cubic meter the feed water temperature is 80 degrees centigrade and now let's familiarize the external parts of the boiler so this is the main burner and this is the safety precautions and it shows the burner type which is a volcano and this is the fuel and the steam pipe this is a flexible hose a quick release valve of the steam and this is the for fuel this is the pilot burner and the photo cell for ignition the other side is the photo cell for main burner so this is the assembly of the pilot burner and this is the ignition transformer connection to ignition electrode and this is the isolation valve for steam and fuel and these are the electro pneumatic actuator so this is the actuator for steam this is in automatic position and the other one is for fuel which is right after the regulator it's also automatic position this is the regulator and it can be operated also manually in case of failure in automatic mode so these are the actuator for recirculation when boiler stops these valves will open to recirculate the fuels so these are the manual valves for fuel before the uh, flue meter so these are the valves on top and these solenoid valves are for pilot burner as you can see this is heading to pilot burner assembly and these are the safety monitoring devices the temperature transmitter for high oil temperature the thermometer for fuel oil and the temperature transmitter for low oil temperature and this is the cherry wave valve actuator aside from the manual valves all these actuators are in automatic mode so let's proceed to other external parts so this is the main steam stop valve which allows the steam to leave from the steam drum and this is the bypass or pre warming valve of the main steam valve it has to be open first before opening the main steam stop valve for safety reasons and these are the feed water filling valve and this is the automatic filling from positioner and the other one is the emergency or the manual filling valve in case a failure of the automatic valve and these are the surface blow down valve or the scam valve which used to blow down the surface part of the steam drum in order to reduce the chloride content 
of our polar water and this is the air vent valve used to remove the air from the steam drum and to reduce the oxygen and these are the safety valves for the boiler which open when there is excessive pressure of the boiler and these are the manometers for parameters of the boiler and as you notice these safety precautions are everywhere that state no burner to be fired before the furnace has been properly purged that's how important these safety precautions before starting boiler and this is the side glass for inspection the quality of fire when the boiler is in operation and now let's proceed to the local control panel of the boiler and this is the boiler control panel from here you can start and stop boiler and at the bottom part is the emergency operation which can be used in case failure of the automatic mode we can operate boiler by emergency operation and now let's proceed to the other accessories of the boiler so this is the atomizing steam valve for atomizing the fuel and these valves are the atomizing air valve which means that when there is no steam the boiler can be start by atomizing air or the compressed air and these are the steam trap which keeps the steam and allows water to leave to condensate and this is the secondary steam stop valve you see this is connected from the main steam stop valve for the reason of safety isolation due to the high pressure boiler and this is the gauge glass the safety gauge glass there are two gauge glass which shows the actual water level of the boiler it has to be checked regularly during boiler watch or engine watch keeping as you can see the quick response of the side glass and these chambers are for low water alarm and low low water level alarm until here guys i hope you learned something about the uh, boiler so if you are interested in this kind of topic please don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe so this is chevy 23 vlog bye bye